you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not not the problem for me. Sir, and you are not ready to talk Mute to YouTube, you, please. Mute YouTube. Hello, Hello? My friend. How are you? I hear you. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Yeah, please. Um, Let us see. Mute YouTube, please. If we can find the video. Okay, okay. I'll mute YouTube. In English. He's calling back. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah, I do. Go ahead. Show me one Quran verse that uh, shows Muhammad own a slave. One Quran verse, Muhammad own slave? Yes. Okay, if I show you what you would do. Well, then you prove yourself to be correct. All right. So you think the Quran never say Muhammad have a slave? Is that what you think? Say that again. So you think that Muhammad in the Quran never owned slave according to the Quran? He never the Quran never said that. This is why you are sure. Yeah. You are sure, right? Okay. Read for me this verse. Chapter 33, verse number 50. Read, read, I want to hear you, you know. I like to hear Quran, I enjoy Quran. Oh, what's happening? Can you put the Arabic? He read it in Arabic, here we go. I mean, I, people, they are listening to me in English. You read it in Arabic, no problem. You speak Arabic, supposedly? Yeah, I can speak Arabic. Okay, go ahead. Go back to the Arabic version. It's in Arabic already, and you do not need to show me. I mean, open your Quran. Don't you have a Quran at home? Do you need to call a friend or somebody? Yeah, can you translate it, please? What my malakat yaminik? Yeah, don't tell me can't you translate. You say to me, show me one verse in the Quran saying Muhammad have his slaves, and here we go. This is your Muslim. This is your Muslim translation saying, whom your right hand possess. One second, let me find hmm. this one. Which verse this one? What's wrong with you? How many times I had to repeat? So you are reading and you are opening the Quran and you do not know what verse yet I told you. Chapter 33, verse number 50. Relax, don't be nervous. Chapter, it's okay, Allah will send Jibreel to support you. Are you there, my friend? 
So look what happened. You were so excited. You want to call me. You are desperate to prove to me because you never heard that the Quran saying Muhammad has the slaves. This is happening because you are not talking to someone like me. Don't challenge Christian Prince. So now you're a prophet. He owns slaves. And not only he owned them, he kidnapped them from their families. So what do you want to say to us? Can't find it here. Is it correct? You have some friends there helping him. Three, four people still they can't answer. How's that? Jibri can't answer. Read the Arabic again. Mm. Shall I go and take a shower and come back? I mean, what happened? The verse is small. Come on, tell us something. What do you want to say? So we see the Arabic again. I showed you the Arabic, and then you asked me to go to the English, and now you're saying me the Arabic. What's wrong with you? I mean, I give you the verse. You have the book. Tell us what do you think. I'll call you back in two minutes. Oh, you want to call me back? Where, where are you going? I have four wives waiting for me. I mean 13. Two minutes, two minutes. What two minutes? Where are you gonna where you wanna go? Are you with me? Are you are asking me, am yes. I with you? I'm sleeping yes. already. I'm waiting for you. Yeah, go ahead. All right. You understand, uh, you understand Arabic, yeah? So if I say this in uh, in Arabic, so uh, you No, I understand. don't understand Arabic. Speak yes. in English. You call me in English, you speak in English. We are an English program. I want I, people to hear you. I want people to hear your answer. You yeah, call me, I, you call I, me, I you, you ask me the question in English. So you oh, need I, to answer oh, first in English, right. please. We are talking right now about Quran, and Quran is revealed in Arabic language, and and to translate. It doesn't matter. Okay, the Quran is in Arabic. The Quran is in Arabic, and the translation yes, made by Arabic. Muslim in the front of us. So Stop speak, playing games. If you speak Arabic, if if you speak Arabic, I am going. I'm going to tell you exactly what does that. Mean I, maybe Arabic. I don't speak Arabic. What's wrong with you? Maybe I don't. But my Arabic is very weak. The only the Arabic word I know is Bismillah al al Rahim. So what? This is not. Uh, you know. Not, not no, 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 no. I'm. I'm going. I'm 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 going to explain exactly what uh, what is written over there in in Arabic language. Hmm. What is written there in Arabic language? Go ahead. All right. Okay. The meaning of this ayah. Hmm. Yeah. يقول تعالى يقول الله تعالى مخاطبا النبي يا بأنه قد أحل له من النساء أزواجه التي أعطاهن مهورهن. You know what the meaning of مهورهن. وهي الأجور ها هنا كما قال مجاهدا وغير واحد. وقد كان مهر وقد كان مهره لنسائه اثنتي عشر وقية وإنش. What does this have to do with my topic? What does this have to do with my topic? Read for us what it says. His right hand possess. Okay. وما ملكت يمينك وما ملكت يمينك. Which is your right hand possesses. Yeah. Wonderful. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means that means أي ما أباح لك مما أخذت من المغانم المغانم which is what you have. Get it from if from the war you won. Okay, so so are they are those our slaves? Are those our slaves? No, 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 no. Maganim, maganim. What does what does maganim mean? Maganim. If if you know. Okay, are they are they TV? So 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 you are are you saying that your prophet is allowed to have sex with the TV? Is that a maganim? Is that a woman or it is a TV? Maganim, it's a uh, maganim. Anything can be maganim. What it, it is? It, no, it, what it, it is? No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Okay. Let me, let okay. me. Horse, hold, horse, on, horse, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you ever heard? Have you? Ever, okay, let me ask you. What interpretation you are you are reading from? Excuse me. What interpretation book you are reading from? 
I'm telling you the sharh of uh, of the ayah. Okay, from which interpretation? <laughs> what is the name? <laughs> the sharh, the sharh. What is the name of the interpretation? What is the scholar? What is name? The, the scholar of this one. Hmm. What Ibn happened? Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, that's wonderful. Okay, guys, did he say Ibn no, Kathir? No, hang on, hang on, hang on, hold on, hang on, hold on. No. Okay, you chose Ibn no, Kathir. That's it. We will go to Ibn Kathir. We will not waste time. Here we go. I will go to Ibn it's Kathir. Not, it's not Ibn Kathir. My it's friend, just, no uh, problem. Is Ibn Kathir is good for you or not? Is no, it, sorry. It's, it's a Sha'rawi. It's a Sha'rawi. Okay, is Ibn Kathir good for you or not? No, Sha'rawi. Go to Sha'rawi. I'm asking you, is Ibn Kathir is good for you or not? It, de it depends what Ibn Kathir you have. If if it's the Ibn Kathir Shia version of, or it is the Ibn original Kathir Ibn Shia version. I never heard of Ibn Kathir because Shia version. Ibn Kathir is a Muslim Sunni. Of course, yeah. No, 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 no. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. On the internet, there is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. Shia, Mr. Shia version, Mr. Shia version. Was Bilal a slave of the Prophet of Allah or not? No. No. <laughs> okay. Was was Mary the cooked a slave? Was Mary the cooked? Was Mary the? Well, listen. Was Mary was Mary the cooked a slave of the Prophet of Allah? Yes or no? You have you have no true evidence of what you are saying well i just showed you it says okay everybody will see okay hold on hold on hold on hold on in front of us hold on hold on hold on abdul abdul listen listen okay this is your muslim translation it says they are saying those are uh, those okay listen listen the translation in front of you it says those who they are prisoners of war it's in the front of you even your muslim got you busted with your lies it says the prisoners of war is the TV a prisoner yeah, of war? Yeah, of course, a prisoners of war, and the Prophet Muhammad, with the presence of war, he he offered them to te anyone. Any one of them can uh, can read and uh, can uh, can write and read to teach Muslim people, and then he will get his but freedom. Just, but the that verse here is speaking about having sex with them. This verse here is speaking about having sex. It's lawful for you, okay, what about your wives. About Listen, Bilal. you said to me, you okay. challenged me, so you agreed now. Bilal. So you agree. So you agree. Or you ag okay, hold on. So one by one, we will go to Bilal. So you agreed that you're a prophet. He owned slave girls. Yes or no? Let me ask you. Did you a prophet? He owned slave girls. Yes or no? Either you say yes. It says that they are captive of war, or you say no. You mentioned Bilal. I, I will show you Bilal. I'm asking you before we change. Before we go. Before we go to Bilal. Did your prophet own slaves from war and they are women and he raped them? Yes or no? Show us your proof for Bilal. It's in the front of you. What Bilal? Bilal, he did not rape him yet. He raped women. Now we're talking about women. I showed the, because you said to me, show me Quran. So now this is the Quran. Then I will go to the Hadith of Bilal. Hmm? What happened? Bilal. Hmm. Yeah, Bilal. So? Did your prophet own girls and he sleep with them? Yes or no? Here we go. You said to me you are reading Tafsir al Sharawi, right? Okay, here we go. This is a Sharawi, and the Sharawi getting you busted. Why you are lying? Are you there? You said yes. to me you are reading a Sharawi. It says, Inna milk al Yamin, Yatimin al Asra fi Harbin Mashruha. So they are prisoners, and those are females. So why you are saying here we go? It says it says too. وملك اليمين قد يكون من النساء فتدخل في نسائهم أو يكون من الصبيان. So they can be women or even boys. 
So your prophet is lawful for him to have sex with women and boys. This is a Sharawi. This is the tafsir you are reading from. It's in the front of my eyes. What you are talking about? You are reading from a Sharawi, right? This is a This is a Sharawi. Read for me. Does it say? Does it? Hold up. Listen. 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 Does it say? Read with me. Read with me. When you call Yamin, you say you are reading from a Sharawi. Everybody heard you. You know something? You are playing with the word. You are mixing. I am not. This is a Sharawi. This is a Sharawi. This is a Sharawi. That means the little boys, the boys, they are still babies. Malikatu Yamin. Who are the Malikatu Yamin? It is lawful for you. Okay. Does the Quran say? Okay. Listen. 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 It says, well, what does it mean? Our the babies, the babies. <laughs> you are mixing with okay, the okay. Listen, 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 listen. I listen. You said you are reading a, a Sharawi, and a Sharawi saying Malikatul Yamin is the capture of war of women and children, and it's lawful for you to have sex with them. This is what it says in the front of you. So, what we will do now. And I can open right now in English. Where is the part for the women? It says here in front of you. You, you claim you speak Arabic, right? Here we go. It says, "Idnun fi al ala al-mar'a," and then, "Malakat aymanahum al-ahdab." Fifty-five. "Qulna inna milk al-yamina yati min al-asra fi harb mashru'a," and then he continues saying that this is "qad yakoon min al-nisa fatadkhul fi nisaihin." And this is a yeah, Sharawi. Yes, yes. What's what's wrong with that? If it's woman, okay, she joined the the woman. This okay. is what you are saying so in Arabic. She, he, so but you're a prophet. He owned. Okay, so you're a prophet. So you're a prophet. So you're a prophet. He owned a slave. Okay. You know, you know something. Listen, listen, you listen. Thinking, so you're a prophet. Did he own those women? You're a prophet. Did you? Okay. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. Listen, 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 listen. Hey, listen. Let, let me let me get you busted. Let me get you busted one by one. Okay. Read for me. Here to join. It's different than what you are saying. No problem. Abdul. Listen. Listen. Abdul. Listen, join listen. the woman. If it's woman, to join the woman. Okay. If it's it, his kids, to to join the kids. But it's not to, to have sex with the woman. Or okay. Sex with okay. The hold, kids. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Read this hadith for me. I don't want to hold on. You are mixing the word with you. No, we are not. We are it's not mixing. And here we are getting you busted. Did your did your prophet did your prophet rape Sophia? Did your prophet did your prophet, did your prophet have a gift? Hold on. I, I will get you busted in the front of everyone. You're, you're a prophet. You're a prophet. I will mean for you, and we will show you reference one by one. This is the first verse we showed you. It says that your prophet is lawful for him to have sex with any slave woman he own. And the top of that, any Muslim woman she can give herself to the prophet. S secondly, listen. Is it true that before we go there, is it true that if the prophet his eyes fall into a woman, the prophet the, the husband must divorce her so the prophet he can have her. What are you showing on the screen? I'm asking you, is it true? If you're a prophet, his eyes fall into a woman. The husband must divorce the wife so he can have her. What's your proof? Here we go. And I'm glad that you speak Arabic. We can't see anything. All right, a second. Don't hang up. Where do you hang up? Here we go. It's there. Don't go. Potato. Why you hang up? Here we go. This is the official government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia website. And this is Tafsir al Qurtubi. And you speak Arabic. Now let us see what it says there. And this is explaining to the same verse we are talking about here about Malikatul Yameen. You see it in the front of us. How do we know? How, how do we know what you are showing us? It's true. 
it what? is here we go oh here we go this is the address I, I will show i will show the address don't stop lying you can you can go right now and everybody will see if this is really the official government website of saudi arabia here we go look at the address quran keysu.education.sa so yes it's true and this is tafsir al qurtubi and now we go and we see what tafsir al qurtubi is saying and you can open from your side tafsir al qurtubi or read with me if I am lying, then I'm saying I'm lying. And now you are you speak Arabic, so you have no excuse. Here we go. Let us see. It says what and what Muhammad he did. It's a bit late. <laughs> the YouTube is late. No problem. You will see it. <clears throat> what he's saying, we can see it on the screen. Read with me carefully. The Prophet, he had many privileges, and those are the privilege of the Prophet. We will start from here. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi, starting from privilege number one. Do you see the screen with me? <clears throat> Do you see the screen? Yes, but it's late. All right, no problem. Do you see it now? Yes. All right. You speak Arabic, right? Don't tell me you don't speak Arabic. Can you read for us what is there? Do you want me to give you the link so you can read it from your side? Read for me the line number 10, the very privileged number 10. إِذَا وَقَعَ بَصَرَهُ عَلَى إِمْرَأَ وَجَبَ عَلَى زَوْجَهَا طَلَاقُهَا If the Prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, which means he like her, the husband, he must divorce her. So the Prophet... Where is that? Where, so where the, is that? Where is that? This go is back, the seer al qurtubi It's in the front of your eyes. Show me that, show me that, show me that. I'm showing you that. It's in the front of you. No, no, where is it? Where is that? I'm showing you. It's in the front of you. YouTube is sleeping. All right, so so this one, how, how would I know that what you are telling us right now, it is a true from the tafsir? B very easy. You can open the tafsir from your side and you read it. I mean, how? what a big deal. You can open the book of tafsir and you can read it. Very easy, in front of everybody. Okay. This is in the book of Al-Qurtubi, page number 187. Tafsir Al-Ahzab, verse number 50. One second. What's happening? You speak Arabic, you do not need 10 hours to, uh, to come with the answer. What kind of a prophet, if a woman walk in front of him and she is married, 
and she is a Muslim, her husband must divorce her so the Prophet he can jump on her. And this is Arabic, and this is Al Qurtubi, and I gave you the page number, and I gave you the Islamic website, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I'm opening this website and I can't find what you are saying right now. You are now. lying, I'm my friend. It. It's in the front of me. Here we go. I will give you I will give you the link. Stop lying. Here we go. This is the link. Open it from your side. I give it to you in Skype. Okay, here we go. You see here. He, he he's playing with the word it is the same ya ayyuh nabi inna bahna laka azwajaka allati a'taytahunna muhurhunna wa bahna laka ma malakat yaminukum min al-ima don't jump what i'm saying to you read it how come you are not reading what i'm giving you does it say there that if the prophet his eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her so the prophet he can f her yes or no Just check in the verses, okay? No problem. I wonder why it's taking you so long. I'm giving you the, the, the link. This is the Islamic government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, official. And you are still checking. I don't know what chicken. I mean, what? it's in front of you. What's happening now? Why is taking two of you? Like, are you both of you shake? You grow beard? So two shakes, they cannot answer a line in their book. So look what we proved. That yes, your prophet, he owned hundreds of his slaves and he raped them. In the top of that, if a woman, she walk in front of him and she is married, still he have the right to take her and strip her from her husband and he jump on her. And you are in this ability and you speak Arabic you have no excuse Can you show us Bilal in the meantime? No problem. We will go to Bilal. Don't worry. <laughs> this is bigger than Bilal. What kind of a prophet? And not only that, we will show you Bilal and we will show you that Bilal begging for his freedom. Just wait. It's coming. But one by one.
Find, I can't find anything on the I sent you the email. Yes. It's interesting. Not any sources like that. I need to find this one, but uh, what he's saying. I didn't think when you um, cut the competition. <laughs> sent it to this. Uh, iCloud. Uh, So what's happening now? Why is it taking so long? Trying to confirm this uh, KSU website. Oh, what confirm? I gave you the website, and this is the official government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We can click down. It says contact us and it will take you to the official government of Saudi Arabia. And you do not need this website, by the way. You can just search the sentence in Google and you will find all your Islamic books saying that. You do not need even the website I gave you. Give us two minutes. We'll call you back. Yeah. Where you want to two minutes? So come on, just uh, finish it. Don't you want to go to Bilal? We we have many. We have Bilal. We have many women. Muhammad he raped them. We have the evidence. We have the reference. We have the page number. We have the hadith number. And you will be having fun for the rest of the night. This is the start. We are just saying hello. I need to get my charger. Ah, the charger. It's both of you. Why both of you will hang up? You don't need a charger. You have no answer. It's a shameful profit. Let's go to Bilal first. What Bilal now? Uh, this is more important. And we will go to Bilal. Don't worry. Do you think you can answer for Bilal? If you cannot answer for this one, you can answer for Bilal. Everybody knows that Bilal is a slave of a prophet. What's wrong with you? Every single Muslim in the world knows that Bilal is a slave of the prophet. Are you kidding me or what? <laughs> I mean, even Muslims, they are texting me in Skype saying, tell this guy we are Muslims, but he's wrong. The prophet, he owned many slaves. Even Muslims are upset from you. Bilal was the first black sheikh. Uh, my friend, your Bilal did not get his freedom even from your prophet. Your Bilal, he got, we, when Muhammad he died, he came to Abu Bakr saying, Abu Bakr, if you bought me because, because Bilal was a gift from, from Abu Bakr to Aisha. <laughs> he said to him, if you bought me for the sake of yourself, will keep me for your sake of yourself. But if you bought me for the sake of Allah, free me. Is that true? What's your proof? Yeah, okay, no problem. You are talking to Christian Prince. Where's your proof? Here we go. This is the proof. Read it. The YouTube is slow. It's not YouTube, it's slow, my friends. It's you. You are ashamed of your prophet. You do not know what to say.
Where did you get this from? Don't change the topic. You, you see, I'm talking to two. One of you now, I want you to think about Bilal's story, and the other yeah. one, he need to answer me. Yeah. The other one, he need to answer me, two of you. So you cannot keep busy in one thing. Okay, one of okay, you need Bilal. to answer me. I need an answer about your prophet. I gave you two okay. things already. I call you three oh, things, actually, okay, and you cannot answer okay. anything. Okay, you so, are saying about Bilal, okay? You said, you said Bilal. No, said no, no. He is the one talking to Bilal. You, you, I gave you time to read about your prophet having sex with women who they are not his wives. He forced the husband to divorce them. Why you are you changing the topic? What are you doing? Are you trying right. to escape the disaster? I gave no, you. No, no, no. Okay, no, then answer. No, no, but, then answer. No, but, the privilege of the prophet. They are 17, 19 privilege. Number, number 10. If the prophet his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her and he can F her. So you took all this time to jump to Bilal, right? Because Bilal will rescue you. No, you cannot do that with me. And here we go. I showed you Bilal about Bilal. Bilal begging for his freedom. Saying, if you bought me for the sake of yourself, keep me for the sake of yourself. If you bought me for the sake of Allah, leave me for the sake of Allah. So, let us be honest, you are ashamed, aren't you? One second. Hmm. Who was of you is the sheikh? Both of you are sheikh or only one of you? I'm talking to shaky sheikh. Do you know how many times you told me one second? Did you decide to leave Islam? Isn't it obvious that Muhammad is a bad man? He look at the women, her husband must divorce her? This is a gang leader. This is not a prophet. <clears throat> My friend is checking the KSU website too. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. <laughs> You're a prophet. He received he received gifts as a human being. He used to receive gifts in Amazon, free shipping and handling. Maria the Copt, her cousins, her sisters, her niece, her nephews. He he received them as gift and he kept them as a slave and he raped them. What about Safiya, the one who kidnapped her? What about Bani Mustaliq, who he attacked them and he take all the women and he raped the women and he exchanged her with Dahya Al-Kalbi? They hang. Uh, they exposed the lies of Muhammad and learn how to be tough on this cult and tough mean to be bold to say it as it is not as they want not politically correct being politically, politically correct is an illness is a weakness 
is somebody he is hiding something. Even forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims. It doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody he says to you, uh, that you are speaking your root, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it truth for sure.